Hey everybody, so wanted to let you know about the approach for this video. This is going to be more like a mashup or commentary. Um, late last night, published the completed video to YouTube. Um, you know, it was like one in the morning or something. I woke up this morning, it was blocked, um, which I knew was a possibility, but it was pretty disappointing. You know, I've been working on this for uh, probably months. I'd have to go back and look. It's been a lot of work, but in any case, uh, not a total loss. So what I'm going to do is play some of the key parts from the tune. Um, talk about what's going on and hopefully that will survive the you know YouTube filters so I can share this with you. This intro, you really do have to play along with the lines that Bill Bruford had played. It's a lot of very specific parts that he's come up with. So that was the intro. Um, one thing that's kind of cool is some of these licks recur later in the song. Um, one of the ones that pops up a few times is in bar 10, this kind of do 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 ba um, <laughs> Tom Phil uh, comes up later. And um, during the finale, they, he basically does a variation on, you know, these, these opening licks. <laughs> All right, let's get into the verse. So I will be stopping it frequently like this. If you want to just listen to the whole song, I'll try to paste a link in the description, but I'm gonna be stopping it frequently to talk about it. I really like the things he does during the verse. I think there's a lot of really good material here. It's very creative. I like what he does during the verse better, I would say, than during the showier parts that are more fills um, during things like the intro. I just think the verse has a lot more cool, you know, musical kind of drumming. And as I've mentioned before, I think the challenge with this song is just there's so much material to learn. He's, you know, busting out something new every couple of bars. So what I did to learn the verse was basically doing it measure by measure. So take for example, measure six. What that would sound like is at the tempo. So what I did was to put a metronome on a slow tempo and play through the verse. And when I came to a measure like this, I would stop and repeat it until I felt comfortable with it, that it was flowing. Let's take a quick look at the sheet music for the second half of the verse. One bar that I like is bar 12. It's really just a variation of the bar that we just went over. Kind of cool that he reuses the material, transforms it. Uh, so let's move along. All right, so there's the chorus, you know, just a really unique figure, a unique kind of theme that I think is key to making the song stand out. I mean, this is just really something that's memorable. It's just awesome. After that, there is sort of a lengthy bridge where there's just guitar, bass, and I think cello, uh, no drums. Um, so I'm leaving out a lot of that, but I did uh, improvise some figures over the end of the bridge, so I want to pop in there. And now we're back at one more kind of dirty, grungy verse. Um, and this time they go straight into the tempo. What I mean by that is some other times of the song, they kind of slide down into the verse and gradually slow, which feels weird to me. That's not something I'm used to doing. It feels 
wrong, frankly, but I think it was just, you know, probably more in style to do it that way at the time. I don't know if there's anybody that has insight into the 70s and, and how that fit into the culture of rock music. That'd be interesting to me. So after another verse and chorus, then we go into a triumphant part, I would call the finale. And we get a reprise of some of the themes from the intro. So let's hit that on our way out. So there you have it, uh, read by King Crimson, um, at least part of it, right? I wish I'd been able to share the whole thing, but that was not to be. So just some closing thoughts. I mean, I think, um, as I mentioned to some folks through social media uh, and email, you know, I'm taking this as a lesson that I need to focus more on original music. I had mentioned, you know, in my channel update and some other times that I, I think I need to do that anyway. I think it just gives me a new sense of urgency to spend more time on those projects. I mean, you know, I'm happy to put in all the work with the the writing music, learning how to play it, you know, transcribing it if necessary and all the mixing. But I really, you know, you want to get the, the fruits of your labors, so to speak. So thank you very much for taking the time to check this out. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing if you want to hear more of the stuff that I do. And yeah, thanks. I'll see you later on the scene. Bye.